Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Ignore how I look. I'm sunburned again, even though this like image is like really like whiting me out. I don't know how to fix these settings. I can't figure it out. Oh well, today I thought it would be good to do a nighttime routine. I haven't done one in a while. More like a, what's it called? Get unready with me, even though I'm not even like ready. I literally didn't do anything today. So I guess it's like kind of like a get ready for bed with me routine something like that but you guys get the idea this is normally my hair after having it in a bun very frizzy tangled and gross so the first thing i always do of course is brush out my hair before bed which can sometimes take a while but i feel like my hair is pretty soft today so this might be pretty easy while i'm sitting doing this i guess i'll just talk about the past few days i know this video is going up late i'm sorry i have had a pretty busy past few days so i I kind of just got caught up all in that and by the time like i got home to actually film this bedtime routine it was like 4 a.m so i just figured i'll just do it tomorrow but one of my biggest supporters ever named heather came out to la for a couple of days she asked if we could hang out i've been talking to her for a long time like for a few years now so i was like totally like i would love to hang out so what we did is me and cassie met up with her at the beach we just had like a beach day hence my little son Burn. It was so much fun. We played this really cute card game that was called like it was called like cat cheese goat chicken taco. I don't know if a lot of you have played it. It's super cute. My hair is so greasy. It's been like three or four days since I've shampooed it. My hair is actually brushing out like way easier than I thought it was going to. You see this? It's just super frizzy right now. Ugh. But yeah, we went to the beach. We had some chips, some snacks. We just laid down. It was overcast too at first. And me, I was like, I never get color in overcast. This sucks. I wish the sun was out. And I guess the sky heard me talking smack because within 10 minutes, the sun came back out and the sky was completely blue. Like not a cloud to be seen. And now I have a pretty good sunburn on my shoulders and back. <laughs> okay, now my hair is all <laughs> brushed out and frizzy. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Anyway, now it's time to wash it because it is definitely a wash day. I'm gonna take a shower, wash my hair, and I'll be back for the rest. I'm back. I just washed my hair. I know I look crazy. I was gonna do my face washing process on camera. That's why I didn't do it in the shower. Normally I would. Boom. To remove my makeup, I'll put some of this micellar water on a cotton pad, or I will use this Verse uh, Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. Either one works great. Sometimes I'll use a Neutrogena Sensitive Skin Makeup Wipes. I go between the three, and I have like semi-sensitive dry skin still. So I'm gonna use the water and just a little cotton pad, pour a little bit on the soft side, press it on my eye, rub it around like this, and then much better. The skin on my eyes is like very sensitive compared to the rest of my face, so that's why they get pretty red pretty easily. I can even just rub it a little bit and it gets super red. And then I just take the textured side of the cotton pad with some micellar water and just rub it on the rest of my face just in case any leftover makeup is still there. But anyway, after we all went to the beach together, which was so much fun, we went back to her hotel and we all got in the pool in the hot tub and it was really nice. And we just, you know, had a couple drinks and just chilled by the hot tub. I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair out of the towel and let it air dry from there. I don't like to keep it in the towel too long. After that, I get my face wash. I've been using the same face wash toner moisturizer routine since you guys first watched my original one i have not switched up from it if you have like semi-sensitive dry skin i swear by this routine so i'm gonna go ahead and wash my face really quick like before i'm using the CeraVe hydrating cream to foam cleanser this one's a little different than what i used to use i like the foam better than just like the regular cleanser the bubbles make me feel like it's actually doing something This is what I normally do in the shower because like gotta get your neck and stuff. This is why I like to wash my face in the shower. I just got water everywhere. How do y'all do it without getting water all over the place? And then my favorite stuff in the world, First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads, favorite toner. Ever. I do use a couple different serums. I am not going to use any serums today because obviously my face is sunburned. I'm pretty sure I could use at least like one of them with a sunburn, but I've always been advised to not 
put any like extra stuff on your skin when you have a sunburn. So I let this sink in for like one or two minutes and then um, we move on to moisturizer. But yeah, after we all finished hanging out at the pool, we started getting ready to go out. We all wanted to go to a little bar together. We were in Venice. None of us have really been in that area before. So we thought we'd check out some bars, you know, just sit together, have a drink, maybe play some games if they have any. We went to this cute little tiki bar and that's when the night started to take a turn. First off though, we all ordered a blue Hawaiian because it was at a tiki bar and I love blue Hawaiians. They're really sweet, they're fun, they're blue. Whatever we got was not a blue Hawaiian because we all took one excited big first sip out of that and I, I kid you not, my eyes, I started crying because the liquor in that was so strong. It was some kind of coconut rum and just blue mix, nothing else. There's supposed to be like pineapple, sweet and sour, like there was nothing else but like blue mix and pineapple rum in that. It was brutal. We asked the bartender to just put a little bit of pineapple in it for us and it helped a little bit. It made it like easier to go down, but that was the only drink we had all night because, whew, and it hit us all pretty hard. All of us were like dead by the time we woke up in the morning. There were a lot of creepy men there. A lot of them kept asking us where we live, where we were from. We were polite, you know, but it was pretty like weird because when we first got there, there was nobody there. So it was really hard to like ignore conversation that was brought up to us, especially because they were like, oh, I'm just gonna sit right here with you guys at the table and just walk and talk to you the whole time. And it was just so awkward, but we're asking us to play teams when we were gonna be done so they could play, but they weren't asking anybody else who was playing. It was really annoying. We gave up the table. We didn't get to play our next game and we ended up like not being able to play at all because people were like, the, all the men there were like, oh, well you can play teams with us or we're still playing. And they were like dragging out their game, not playing, standing around talking. It was really rude and annoying. I eventually asked Corey to come join us because we were just getting really uncomfortable. People were staring at us. I could feel eyes on us. It was just really weird. We Ubered there. So it's not like we could just get in the car and leave. We didn't want to wait outside for an Uber. So I just texted Corey and was like, hey, do you want to like come by? And you know, yeah. So Corey, of course, pulled up immediately. He was able to end up getting us a pool table and we got to play our own game again and this time because we had four people instead of three we were able to play teams and nobody could like button pause i'm gonna do my moisturizer now before i jump straight to my moisturizer when i'm sunburned i like to use this like 100 percent pure aloe gel sometimes when i'm not sunburned i'll use it i'll put aloe on as well just because it feels so nice on my skin don't use this aloe this aloe dries you out and as somebody with dry skin i would know get 100 percent pure aloe you can get it in a bottle you can get the plant as we're like playing our second game of the night, the people who originally took the table from us decided to just sit a foot away from the table like where you're supposed to sit to play the game while you're waiting for your turn they decide to all sit there and just watch us like it was just kind of antagonizing you know just obviously trying to make it seem like i don't know like they were the shit, i guess i don't know it was really annoying and then next thing i know like you know cassie makes a few shots and then everybody's cheering for her it was a good time even though people were being weird everybody's cheers for cassie for making the shot and then this one girl <laughs> starts like talking crap on Cassie making the shot being like oh I thought that's how you play the game I thought that's how you play the game isn't that how you're supposed to play the game she said it like four times in a row nobody was responding to her and it made me upset because that's like my best friend like hello yes that's how you play the game you're hovering over our game we're just minding our own business and I might have had a little like more bravery in me I had a little bit of alcohol in me and I just annoyed about how we were being treated there already and this girl came out of nowhere so I don't even know what it was about and I responded to her and was like, yes, that's how you play the game. Yeah, I just, it kind of escalated. She started kind of screaming at me. I was just kind of looking at her like she was crazy. Um, next thing I know, she was trying to fight me, like trying to run up on me, talking all this smack, saying all this stuff, threatening me, goes up to the bartender, trying to get us kicked out of the bar. Um, just basically harassing us, harassing me, threatening me to meet me outside. Like, oh, she'll get me outside. Oh, there's no cameras. It was obvious she just wanted attention because nobody was giving it to her. She got her attention. <laughs> Don't talk bad about my friend, okay, or about us. We're minding our own business. That's all that happened. Eventually, she was held in timeout at the bar, and we finished our game and left. That was the whole night. It was pretty funny, but we all had such a good time. Heather was such an angel to me, and I just had a total blast being able to, like, actually get to spend time with her in person versus talking to her all the time on the internet. It was a really great experience, even though there were people who were trying to ruin our night, but it's okay. Overall, we had an amazing day, even with that happening. Happening, we had such a good time. It's a story to tell now, I guess. After all the aloe sets in, we're gonna go in with the classic V Daily Moisturizing Lotion. But yeah, no, Heather was an absolute dream. She is a 
like one of the sweetest, nicest people I have ever met. I also got to meet her parents, which is really cool. They were just as cool as her. But yeah, we had a great time. Before I go to bed, I'm just gonna take this Sarah V lotion and this Maui Babe after sun lotion and go ahead and like put it all over me, you know, because I have a sunburn. I would be using aloe on my shoulders and arms, but I don't have a lot of it left. So I wanna save it for my face. This stuff is incredible. I hardly ever peel when I use this. It came with a tanning lotion. I don't use the tanning lotion as much. I can't really get my back that well, so I have Corey in here. He's gonna help me. Hey, Corey. Ugh, I was just telling them about the crazy, weird bar we were at the other night. <laughs> Oh, with yeah. uh, Heather and Cassie. Yeah, that was super fun. I forgot to mention, like, once Corey got there, the entire energy of, like, how people were treating us shifted. Nobody was, like, being creepy towards us anymore. Everybody was just trying to play it off as super friendly. The energy shifted completely. It's just very funny how that worked. Let's go like this. Okay, don't put too much because it's gotta, we gotta put the other layer of stuff on too. Just my upper back and shoulders. That hurt the shoulder. Don't slap me. That uh, kind of hurts. <laughs> what did you think about the night? We had fun though, didn't we? Like we all had a good time together. Yeah, it was fun. People are just crazy. Comment down below if people are crazy. Next is the amazing Maui Babe lotion. This is the best like after sun lotion I've ever used. I've used a couple. I really like after sun. I'm supposed to eat this? I gave your neck a slap? No. Yeah, right. Get your shoulders. <laughs> Get your babe lights. Hurts. You have okay. rough hands. Yep, got them from my mom. All right, there you go, sugar. Thank you. Okay, I can put you in a cup of coffee. <laughs> Why? You should. Okay, I don't need you anymore. That was it. Thank you. You're welcome. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing on my chest. I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair out. And I usually just let my hair air dry at nighttime. I don't like to put heat to it, especially after after I've washed and deep conditioned and conditioned, you know, all that. After all that's done, I brush my teeth. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I promise next week's video will not be late. It was just another little hiccup. I'll be back on Wednesday with another video and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to follow me on TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.